we are going to discuss an important question and also expected 2021 NEET exam which is going to be held on 2021 September 12th. So now we are going to discuss the expected physics question in the chapter of loss of motion, especially the topic of pulleys and also other related sum in the lesson of loss of motion. Let us go for the first important sum in the topic of pulleys. You can able to see the diagram here. See this particular diagram. I hope you are seeing this diagram. And let me study the question now. The magnitude of acceleration of the block is dash. So he has given a fixed one here, 2 kg, and a hanging one, 10 kg. The options are 5g by 6, 6 by 5g, c, 3g by 5, and d, none of the above. See that particular diagram. Remember the diagram. Please store it in your subconscious mind. So see here the board. One is fixed, the other one is hanging. And the question asked is the acceleration, magnitude of acceleration. How to do this sum without using any formula and any concept? So let us go for the trick now. Please take a pen, write on this important point, whatever I am writing in the board, please note it down because the purpose of giving a shorter trick is you have to save the time. That is the important concept here. Now let us go for writing the acceleration. The symbol for acceleration is A. You know very well. And just see the two important kgs here. One kg is fixed, the other kg is hanging down. So now tell me which is bigger out of these two. Two or ten? Yes, I need an answer from you. You know very well, two is lesser than ten. So I am ready that the biggest value here. The 10. And if you see the answer, everywhere G is coming. See here G, G, G. So always write this G in the value of this chain. You got it? If it is 30 means, then what will be your answer? That is, you have to write 30 G here. If it is 50 G, kg, then what will be your answer? So you have to write 50 kg. So that is not the answer, one of the steps. Now, you divide it for all the sums in this model. One is fixed, the other one is handy. So now you see what is the value here. It is 2 here and 10 here. You just add the two values. So if you are going to add 10 plus 2, we get 12. Then what is the number in which we can divide the both the numerator and denominator? So the number is 2 tables, we can divide it so that we get 5g by 6. We got the answer in a single step without doing any calculation, big calculation and without using any formula. Again I will repeat it, how to do this sum. What you have to do, just see the hanging one and the fixed one. Write on the hanging value here as 10 and write on G out of all the sums. Then divide by, just add this 2, you get 12. We can strike it up by common table 2 so that we get 5G by 6. See the answer here, D, C, B, A. Where the answer lies? Yes, if the answer lies in option A. So that our answer and your answer will be 5G by 6. So the answer lies in option A. Here, let us go on to the second question. Without using any concept and without using any formula, we are going to do this sum in a fraction of seconds. Let us go on to the second question in the chapter of laws of motion, especially in the topic of Police. Now, the question asks is the magnitude of acceleration is dash. So, he has given the diagram. And if you see the diagram, there is a pulley here. And there are two masses which is hanging down. The one is 20 kg and the other one is 10 kg. One mass is higher than the other mass. To go with the acceleration, and he is asking us to find the acceleration and to go with the acceleration, there are four options given. The options are g by 3, 2g by 3, 4g by 5, and Finally, option D is all there. Now, how to get the answer within a few seconds and in a single step? What I will do is, that since the question asked is acceleration, write down this A is equal to. Write down A is equal to. Then, just go with the difference of these two masses if the two masses are hanging down in a pulley. If the two masses are hanging down in a pulley, what you have to do is just minus the Bigger value and smaller value. 
so that we get 20 minus 10. How much you get? 20 minus 10 is 10. You got it? For example, if it is this 30 and this one is 10, then what will be the subtraction answer? The answer will be 30 minus 10 will be 20. Now the question is 20 and 10. So we are going for 20 minus 10 is, I will write the step also. 20 minus 10 you can write. Divided by, just add these two masses. If you are going to add the two masses, what do you get? You will get 30. Then, everywhere G is there. See here, so that you can write here G. So the final answer you get 10 G by 30. So that I can cancel this by three tables. So the answer is G by 3. Let us go for the options where it lies. The options lies in option A. The answer lies in the option A. It is G by 3. Now we got the answer for the second sum within a few seconds. Uh, the second question I am expecting this year 2021. The lead exam is going to end on September 12 of this month. The second question is so important. This question was being asked in 2000 exactly. So the question asked in mid 2000. Just I want to give the number now. Mid 2000 question. Now I am going to change the numbers. It has been asked in the mid 2000. So here 20 and 10 have been given. Now I am going to change the numbers now. So as per the question which has been given in mid 2000. The question is 10 kg and 5 kg. So this is the question asked in mid 2000. Now please practice now in my shortcut break and comment the answer in my channel. So, you have to find the same answer as been given, g by 3, 2g by 3, 4g by 5. All the above I am saying of, I am going to write the answer as g by 9. So, now you have to capture the correct answer with the help of this shortcut. I have already told the shortcut method, we have to subtract the values, divide by the total value into g will give you the answer. Use this method and find the answer. Yeah, let us go for the third question now. In the topic of today's in the chapter of loss of motion. So see the third question here and see this block diagram and kindly store this diagram in your subconscious mind. So see the diagram. There are two important masses. One is 20 kg, the other one is 10 kg. And 20 kg is sliding down and 10 kg is fixed in the horizontal position. And there is a small point here which keeps both the masses in tension. Now the question asked is, the acceleration is the question, the acceleration in the block is A, G by 4, option B, G by 3, option C, G by 9, option D, 2G by 5. For doing this sum, everybody will go into the derivation method to find tension, to find the acceleration. Now we are not going to do any derivation and now use my shortcut formula now and cheat code formula for doing this particular sum. This question I am expecting this May 2021 which is going to end on September 21st. Now how to do this sum? The question asks is acceleration. Write down acceleration A is equal to. I will check. Yes. Then use my shortcut code formula now for doing this sum because the angle also has been given 30 degree. Now to go with the sum what we have to do is use this formula M1 by M1 plus L2 into G sin on bar is the shortcut cheat code formula for the given diagram. Please note down this diagram and also note down this formula. Now we have to capture which is M1 and M2. Just see there which is sliding. The sliding one is 20 and the unsliding one is M2. So let us substitute the value. 20 as M1 by 20 plus 10. Let us keep this G as it is because the answer everywhere G is here. That's the reason I have introduced the value of G in the formula G here and alpha is 30 degree. Let us substitute here. Then our answer we get 20 by 30 into G into 1 by 2. Am I right? Because the value of sin 30 is 1 by 2. So now I can strike this one by 10 times. 
So that again I can strike here as we get the answer as g by t, a is equal to g by t. Let us see where that answer lies with option. Option A is g by 4. Option B is g by 3. See the answer here. This answer is this answer is getting point six. So our answer lies in the option B. Let us go for the fourth question, which is so important. And let me go with the question now. Just see the log diagram. The angle is given is the form of a triangle, and one of the block is sliding down in the value of 10 kg. The other one is 2 kg is angled down. And the question asks this in this particular one of this. The acceleration is the question, and the answers are given as option A 3g by 20, option B g by 4. And option C, 4D by 5, and finally D, with G by 5. So now, to go with the acceleration, use my cheat code shortcut formula now. So to go with the cheat code formula, use this acceleration in the question, I write it down, A is equal to, then M1 sin alpha minus M2 divided by M1 plus M2. Use this formula into g is everywhere, so that's why I am writing into g. So now let us substitute the value. The value of m1 is taken as 10 kg, the value of m2 is taken as 2 kg, so that I can write here 10 into sin 30 minus m2 value is 2 divided by m1 plus m2 is 10 plus 2. So g is there in the numerator. So you know the value of sin 30, the value of sin 30 is 1 by 2. If you sim simplify the f of is 1 by 2, you get 5 here, 5 minus 2 by 12 into g. So now by simplifying it, we get a is equal to, we get 3g by 12, which is implies a is equal to g by 4. So the acceleration of the block, it comes as g by 4. Let us see the option where it lies. The answer of acceleration lies in the option B as G by 4. Let us go for the fifth question today in the chapter of loss of motion in the topic of police. So this sum is also so important, which, which I am expecting in coming 2021, the need J, which is going to end on September 12th of this month. So the question is, the fifth question is, three blocks A, B and C of masses 4 kg, 2 kg and 1 kg respectively or in contact on a frictionless surface as shown. See here the diagram has been shown. If a force of 14 Newton is applied on the 4 kg block, then the constant force between A and B is that. The options are option A 8 Newton, option B 18 Newton, option C 2 Newton and finally it ends with G 6 Newton. This question has been asked in the year mid 2015. So now, for this particular question, we are not going to use any cheat code or any formula and any concept. In a single step, we are going to find the answer. Whatever the number it may be, you can just go with the triangle error by using different numbers by my shortcut method. So now, let us see what is the question asked. The constant force, the symbol for force you know very well, it is F is equal to. Write out the solution as F is equal to. Please take your pen and note all this. And write on F is equal to. Now we we'll just see what is the force given here. What is the force given here? It is 14 Newton. Please note it down as 14. I will return 14 in your notebook. Then put minus always in the center. So what you have to do in this model, like this, see this figure. Please feed it in your subconscious mind this particular figure. A, B, C. In this particular diagram, you have to capture the first. The maximum value of force 14 Newton. I am written here 14 Newton. Then you have to see what is the block here. 14 Newton is applied in which block? It is in 4 kg. Write on that 4. I will return that 4. Then into, please make it into. Then again you write on this 14 here and divided by the total mass. Total mass of A, B, C. A is 4 kg and B is. 2 kg and C is 1 kg. Let me add all these values. If we add 4, 2 and 1, what do you get? We get 7. So let me put here 7. 
So we are going to get the answer when we simplify this. Again, I'll tell you the method how we are going to write this. Write down this the post value, put minus always. Then again, write down this 14 again. And before 14, you have to multiply with this 4 kg block. Write down this 4 divided by total mass. So now I can cancel this 7 and 14 by 2 tables. Now F is equal to the 14 minus L. What is 14 minus Z? Right? You are exactly right. It is F is equal to 6 Newton. So we got the answer in a single step without using any formula and without using any concept. Let us go with the answer now. The answer lies in option D. It is 6 Newton. Here, let us go for the sixth question. This question has been asked in the year 1993. And let us go for the sixth question now in the topic of police in the chapter of loss of motion. So the question is, a monkey is descending from the branch of the tree with a constant acceleration. Yet the brake still is 70 by person of the weight of the monkey, the minimum acceleration with which monkey can slide out without branches. Option A is G, option B is 3G by 4, option C is G by 4, and finally it ends with option D, G by 2. Now for this particular sum, we are not going to use again any formula. In a single step and with a fraction of second, by saying the sum itself, we can get the answer immediately. Let us go for the answer now. See, the solution now we are going to find the question answers acceleration. You know what is the symbol for acceleration? It is A is equal to, right? Or A is equal to. Now we just see the one thing, one number is there. What is this number? 75 percentage. Now you tell me what is the total percentage? The total percentage is 100. What you are going to do is you put 100 minus 75, right? Now this stuff. How we got 100? Because the total percentage is 100. And the given percentage is 75. You subtract that value like this for whatever the percentage they are giving in this model. And if it is G is there, C is G is there, G is there, G is there. Here also G is there. So then I am putting C here. Now 100 minus 75, you know very well, well this percentage actually. 100 minus 75 is 25 percentage of G. So 25 percentage, you know very well, well, it is 25 by 100 into G. So we get the answer as G by 4. Let us see where the answer lies in the option. So the answer lies in the option C, it is G by 4. We did the sum in a single step and with a few seconds to get the answer immediately as G by 4. Thank you very much, my dear students, for giving a greater support to my channel. So you made me, my channel, to a bigger level. And thank you once again for you. And today, the chapter what we discussed in the topic of quiz is very important and it takes more weightage in the coming year in 2021. And what you have to do finally is, the students who are coming to this channel, you have to subscribe my channel, which is so important. Press the bell button, put a like symbol, and share all of my channel videos to all of your friends. Until then, bye-bye. See you.